Good Friday morning, everybody. Chris Allen and your weather podcast on this Good Friday as we head into Easter weekend. It is March 30th. It is 4.56 a.m. Central Time on this finally Friday. A couple of notes here. Heard back from several of you again on the podcast. I appreciate your continual feedback. Uh, probably next week sometime I'll make an adjustment. It could stay close to this time, making some other adjustments to accommodate uh, certain changes in the workflow here to uh, rally around and change around our new weather app, which, by the way, you can download. The brand new WBKO weather app is available to you in the App Store or in Google Play. Just search for WBKO weather instead of just WBKO. If you do that, you're going to get the original uh, app. But if you search WBKO weather, then that's the brand new app. You'll see uh, an updated weather logo and stuff, and you're going to see more of that as we uh, switch over to that in the coming days and weeks. Uh, But I want you to try it out. Uh, One change that we made this morning is that we're going to reserve Facebook Live updates for extreme circumstances. And for that, I mean, uh, you know, when there's a threat of severe weather or a big snow coming in or, you know, a major weather event. Uh, Doing it every day for about five to ten minutes in length eats up a lot of time and frankly our research is showing that you don't have that kind of time to just sit and watch it a few people do and you're pretty loyal to it but really uh you're you're taking things in short bursts so starting this morning and just a few minutes ago if you're on the brand new wbko weather app you will see what's called a morning go cast it's 60 seconds long And it's just a condensed version of the Facebook Live post that I've been doing every morning for a while. And it's a more effective way to get the message out there and just to give you a little short synopsis of what to expect during the day. And along with this podcast, you know, put the two together, you get a pretty good idea of what's going on. But, you know, like it or not, long form... um, media is is only for documentaries and for other things but for the weather and you're on the go and you're uh, you know you're busy and you're moving around you just want to see something real quick and easy well now we're accommodating that so check it out it's called the morning go cast i'll do another one at midday we're going to do these you know five or six times a day these little short 60 second videos that we'll post automatically to our new WBKO weather app, and uh, we can also push it out to all social media at the same time. It's pretty cool how technology is working now these days. But Facebook Live, we're still going to do those. We'll just keep them for the big events. That way you'll know, hey, it must be a big event because they're doing a Facebook Live. Uh Uh-oh. Heads up. Anyway, so now that out of the way, let's get on with the podcast. Yesterday's high, 63 in Bowling Green. That happened around 2.30 at the Bowling Green Airport, and it was one degree shy of the average of 64. But our low of 51 was 11 degrees warmer than the average low of 40. One year ago, we had a high at 76 and a low of 50 back in 2017, and we picked up another three quarters of an inch of rain yesterday 76 hundredths to be exact at the bowling green airport some locations way over an inch almost two inches down toward lake cumberland yesterday so now that brings our march total up to 4.24 and giving us a surplus of 13 (laughs) hundredths it's a surplus though we're we're all caught up on rainfall and we're going to see a little bit of a break from rainfall today even though there could be a stray shower or two uh, there's more rain to come unfortunately for the upcoming weekend today we're going to call it mainly cloudy and uh, cooler mainly cloudy cooler there's a possibility of a stray shower i'm seeing a, a few this morning on radar up there toward breckenridge county ohio county near the uh kentucky uh ohio indiana border on the ohio river 
And there could be one or two stray showers this afternoon. Not a big deal, though. Not as much rain as we've had lately. 57. That's going to be the bigger deal today. Much cooler with a northwest wind at 10. Tonight, mainly clear and colder with a low of 37. And then for Saturday, the last day of March, tomorrow, we're looking at a mainly breezy and warmer day. We're going to see a big warm uh, warm surge coming in before the next cold front moves in with the next chance of rain, which will be Saturday night into, unfortunately, Easter Sunday now. But Saturday, tomorrow, breezy and warmer, mix of clouds and sunshine, 68. And then here comes the next cold front. Good chance of rain Saturday night and kind of off and on all day Easter Sunday with a high only at 55, much cooler behind the front. Then that front stalls in the Tennessee Valley Sunday night into Monday. Monday, a 50% chance of shower, 64. Tuesday, uh, as the system gains momentum, and then we have uh, looks like a lot more instability coming in as the front gets ready to move out of the area. I'm looking at a 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms likely, and yes, there could be. There could be some strong to severe storms on Tuesday of next week. So this is your first official heads up that we could be looking at doing a Facebook Live (laughs) next Tuesday, maybe even next Monday, uh, just for that. High of 72 as the thunderstorms come rolling through and then the cold front passes by. By Wednesday of next week, we should be clear of any rain, but it is going to be cooler with a high of only 55 and mostly sunny. Thursday, mostly sunny near 60 for the opening day for uh, Bowling Green's Hot Rods Baseball. Yep, already time for baseball because it'll be April. April starts Sunday. Uh, Easter Sunday. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later this afternoon, if you get a chance to tune in, my radio show is at Classic Hit Sam 100.7 between 3 and 7 p.m. Or you can listen anytime online around the world at BowlingGreenSam.com.